So it's quite a daunting task to keep everyone awake, uh, keep the panel going, as well as uh, you know keep that zeal in this discussion. So as as the pattern has been so far, we will take the introductions. We'll ask all the panel members to represent their company by way of presentations or you know whatever they want to speak on, and then. Uh, is it? Okay, you can sit here and I'll stand, don't worry. No, anyway, I'll moderate, too, so, so don't worry. <laughs> it becomes easier for me to moderate that way. That's fine, that's fine. That's okay, okay, okay. That's okay, right. Okay, so can we start from this end of the dais? Just, oh, you, you will take a last, so shall I go from that side? Okay, so if you can give introductions in this row, and then we'll open up for the discussions. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm Dr. P. Sarathi. I am the <laughs> when it suited for the years. I worked in third company before. Now I'm trying to really promote the quality of the solar manufacturers in the modern market. I have small projects in the world. Thank you for Thanks. You will have to speak a little bit louder, I think, uh, Jana. Is it? You can take mine. OK. Uh, my name is Megha, and I'm from Navita Solar. Navita Solar is basically a module manufacturing company. And I'll speak on the technology, module technology, uh, in my presentation. Uh, so I'll just. Thank you. Uh, myself, Parag Gadegavkar. I'm heading uh, Testo India Private Limited. Uh, business development and project department and I take care about the technology part of it, the thermal imaging for solar photovoltaic plants. And I also worked in manufacturing of uh, solar cells and uh, wafers. It was a project from Birla but could not, you know, complete it. But I worked for three years there. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Mukun Shenge. I work for Fronius India Private Limited. Uh, we, we are into string inverter manufacturing. Uh, the organization has a 25 years track record of uh, providing a premium string inverter to the solar PV industry. So today I do not have a presentation, but I'll, I'll definitely speak a little bit about uh, how we operate in R&D and uh, innovation is at our core, how, how we come up with the differentiated products. And also try to un uh, speak a little bit about the derating uh, which was a topic for the previous panel. So would like to add some value on that topic also. Thank you. Thanks. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Ajay Ratan. I head project division of Tata Blue Scope Steel Limited. And a portion of that uh, business handles the solar segment as well, wherein we supply modules for ground-mounted structures and for rooftop solutions also we provide the components. So I'll be capturing the more details in my presentation. Hi, this is Gita Anjali. I'm from Energy Guru. Uh, we have many innovative products. One of them is a robotic solar module cleaning system. I'll be speaking about it today. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Sandeep Pathak. I'm the founder and CEO of Dhanashree Solar, uh, which is a startup in rooftop solar. But uh, we have a special emphasis on uh, building integrated solutions, BIPV. So I'll give a brief uh, presentation on that uh, in my... Good evening, everybody. I'm Suresh More, representing Silip Technologies and uh, heading uh, western and southern part of the country, uh, taking care of sales and marketing. We are basically a solar pump and solar component manufacturer. I will cover the rest of the thing in my presentation. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Murli Krishna, handling for uh, model sales and contracting, and uh, I represent from Anchor by Panasonic, and uh, I'll give a brief about uh, the high efficiency panels in the market. Thanks. Okay, let me introduce myself. I'm Ajay Bhure. Uh, I represent LES Solar. Um, what I do is none of you on the dice do, because I do the non-core activity of your business. Uh, we are into solar parks. We create solar parks up to 20 megawatt. Uh, and just develop the infrastructure around it. So very much technology agnostic, but uh, your non-core is my core business. 
So uh, I'll not be competing with any one of you. Okay, so which way you want to do it, you know, is have a presentations or have discussions, depending on whatever audience is awake or... So you'll, okay. Okay, fine. So we can start the presentations and in the meanwhile, we'll take the question answers. I think uh, some of the people had some questions. So if you can quickly give your presentation. Good evening, everyone. I'm I am Dr. Uh, Devjyoti Sarengi, and I am now at this moment the consulting. But here in this today's evening, I really like to talk something about the quality of the PB modules. In from the today morning, we really learn a lot about that. Make in India, we learn about that modules, the EPC, the, the total power plant is not really working. And people always ask, which kind of module you want to buy. Now the problem is that, uh, I don't know, I really, that always we talk about when you buy the module, what is the price? We never ask some of the other questions. And, and I really like to touch up something so that you can really understand what you really need to know when you buy the modules. The solar is really great. The last line is really very important. The earth received more energy from the sun in just one hour than the world uses in the whole year. So if there is any investor is there, really be assured that if you are right, if you really understand what you are doing, the solar really return you your money back with profit. And before really going through that, which kind of modules you need to select, just very clear, solar cells is a very simple device and these has mainly the two kinds, the mono and poly or multi, apart from the thin frames. Now you need to select which one you will be selecting to install in your case. You can do either poly or mono, depending upon what really you want. But to really come, come up with that make in India, you really need to understand that the solar module making is not really so simple. Module is very simple, but before that, you have to complete the business sector. It's coming with the polysilicon. Polysilicon is coming from the sand. So there is a one segment, one business sector, they're really making the polysilicon. Then it's coming to the crystal growth. So either crystal growth can be casting or the uh, pulling. So another sector is coming, the wafering. They really make it to slice the crystals and make it to wafer. Think about that. This wafer is around now 180 micron thick, 180. Your here is around 80 microns. Now we're coming back to the solar cell productions. And then you just integrating the solar cells and making the modules. This is also not again simple. And where you are, you are not, we are now in this situation in, in India. So we are making the modules and some of the solar. We are really lagging with the wafer. We are really lagging with the polysilicon. So to achieve this uh, 100 gigawatt, we are really far, far away. And one of the main reasons that polysilicon and wafer, where we are not do doing, because this is the energy consuming process. And it's really 600 to 60 to 100 kilowatt per kg is really required to get this polysilicon. So this is really need a lot of support from the government to do the polysilicon and wafer and also before going to the modules. If you really come back, coming back to the modules, modules, the main thing is that you see you have a glass on the top. This is the crystalline silicons and between that there is encapsulant and at the side there is a back seat and this is with the frame and junction box. This is a very important thing and the each and every component is very important. Now you see the module as degrading so you need to understand when you buy the modules the module producer gives some kind of warranty. So this is they give the warranty at the first year module can degrade is two percent 
and with every year there is a linear degradation of 0.7 percent and they can assure that after end of the 25 years it will be 80.7 percent or around 20 percent degradations you really need to understand why they give this kind of degradations why module is really degrade it's very simple this is the curve there is a couple of phenomena the first year module degrade because of mainly one of the reason that is called light induced degradations this light induced degradation is the property of the solar cells it's around can be 0.5 to 5 percent again depending upon the solar cell or module technology for crystalline silicon the mono and poly park there are different kind of technology the selection of technology will tell you that how much this module degrade and the part the last 10 years this three percent degradations because of anti-reflection coating on the glass. Anti-reflection coating will never stay a long time. Within two to three years, they will come up from the, because they are on the top of the glass. So there is a 3% degradation. The rest 20%, uh, almost 20% because of the EVA. In most of the cases, EVA is there. EVA is getting yellow. Yellowing of the EVA, that's contribute around 10%. And another is the corrosion. Corrosion is coming again from the EVA. Apart from that, there is the other kind of problem, the PID. This is one of the problem. Smeltel, this is the another problem. Junction box failure, this is another problem. But in the standard, this is the one of the things. I can stay to tell I am completely against the EVA. Why? That will come. So to select the modules, you first really need to select which kind of solar cell technology you will be using. The solar cell technology either it's coming with the, with the crystalline, either the mono and poly. Both are having two, two kind of technology. Aluminium BSF, that is called standard or PARC technology. Can we use the PARC and uh, a standard? PARC is really good. It's really contributing the more energy. But the problem is coming. In general, mono is having more LID than the poly. The moment poly is coming into the PARC, it is having, it has found that there is another kind of LID is coming, that is called light and elevated temperature induced degradation. So like in the field when there is a temperature and it's really coming in the more LID and still scientists don't understand why this LID coming. Some of the company like Arishi and other, they claim they are really able to solve it, but still I am doubt that polyperk try to avoid it. The LID is there. So you select the cells, that which cells you really need, that really give you the solar cells, the LID. Now we really need to think about that, the EVA. EVA, one of that, EVA will cause or contribute and make the acetic acid. So when, with the exposure of the UV and temperatures, EVA degrades and they make the acetic acid. And this acetic acid may cause different kind of problem. One of the problem is that EVA is getting yellowing with the time. As I told that the moment it's getting yellow, so you will be losing your power. So you need to try to select the other kind of materials, the EVA free material. This is one of them. So that I can, then the boreal is some kind of poly olefin based materials. So there is a no ethyl, so that can really avoid this 10% reduction. Again thing, uh, it's coming about the corrosion. What about that corrosion? The moment the ethyl the acetic acid is coming and the ice is telling that you put it 1000 hour damp it and if your module don't degrade below 5% you are safe. This is one of them. We have tested this is the one kind of uh, encapsulant where is the acetic acid free from the BPO and these are two different kind of EVA, the good quality EVA. 1000 hour they really falls below 5%. They pass the ice test. The moment it goes 2000 hour damp it, you see what is the performance of them. Why really happening? You can see that with the time, this EVA will generate the acetic acid, it's here. And this acetic acid really corrodes the contacts. You are losing the power. So the message is that you really need to understand the module degradations, one of them. And I'm really very sorry to say that the module manufacturers, they are using spending for 72, sales module 70 to dollar for the solar cells and they are not really ready to spend more than more than three dollar on the encapsulant and that is the one of them on the top of the solar cells and they're really contributing this acetic acid and really uh, making your degrading the modules 
Another phenomena is the PID. PID is the sunting. And why is it really happening? Because the sodium ion is coming and that is making the sunting. And it's everywhere it's getting. And it has been found that this acetic acid is really helping the sodium ion to move from the sodium to glass, sodium to solar cells, and that's really accelerating. So if you can really avoid this kind of things, and people are really spending money. People are spending money on the solar cells. They're putting capex to make some kind of technology. They're putting the oxide layer. They're mod modifying the silicon nitrate. So uh, this is another thing. Uh, the centel. Centel is coming also uh, because of the acetic acid. Uh, and if there is a, any kind of uh, microcac is there, acetic acid is really um, uh, making reaction with the silver and making the nanoparticles. So before that, so I can that so when we really think about that, the selecting of the best quality of materials, this is one of the test is really the good test, the sequential test. You take the same modules uh, with the, the standard, the different, they like BPO, that one kind of uh, acetic acid free, and this is the EVA, and you continue with this kind of test, cycle one, cycle two, cycle three, and cycle four, and you see at the end of the cycle four, which is around 20 years, the module is degraded and it's become 33.4, the degradation is around 33.5 percent, and it's clear and why. And if you use the acetic acid free, Encapsulant like the polyolefin based encapsulant like BPO, and it's only the 5.4 percent. So the selections of the the solar cell and selection of the below materials is really important for your module. And then if you really understand this one, and before asking for the price, if you really ask which kind of below materials I need, this kind of below materials I know, then I think it will be really good for you, and you really get the good return. Thank you very much. Thanks, Doctor. <coughs> it was a very insightful discussion. Have said. Would you have your presentation as well? You know, as a as a rule, let us keep the presentations for five to seven minutes so that it becomes easier for audience as well to get an opportunity to ask some questions. Um, so, if we can keep it brief, that will be of great help. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Megha, and actually, I look after EPC team. But today, I'm here to present module technology. So uh, about Navitas, Navitas is a module manufacturing company. We have 200 megawatt of uh, annual capacity installed in Surat. And we also do the EPC and turnkey uh, projects. So I look after this. And then uh, we are a group companies of, uh, we have several companies in the power sector, then construction and steel companies. So I'll start with a basic system, solar system, a basic component of the system is module. And the, as we all know, there are several technologies in the modules. I'll just have a brief on them. Uh, first of all, the factors, those affects the module efficiency are like uh, raw material that we are using for the module manufacturing. And then what kind, how you're handling your product while manufacturing that. That uh, affects a lot. Then the facility that you have, uh, whether it's manual or automatic, then testings that you are doing on the raw material, in-process testings, and uh, final testing, and skill workmanship. So uh, as Sir explained, there are so many technologies available in the market for PV. So more, depending upon the cell manufacturing, there are technology types. So one is mono, the cell manufacturing is different than the poly, that's why it's different. But the efficiency uh, and of costly, the cost is different. Uh, we can have comparison directly. There are, like poly is one of, the, one of the technology. Thin film is also a technology which is not so common in India. Uh, there are, again, few types in thin film also, uh, depending upon, upon the uh, doping of the material. So, but then in that also, the CDDA technology is the most commonly used technology, not in India, but uh, other parts of the world. Then the mainly in mono, poly, and thin film. Poly is the major technology that we are using in India. And even we are manufacturing. We also manufacture the mono too, but the efficiency, if we consider, the mono has the maximum efficiency, but the cost is high, and I can see um, for, Indian temperature, uh, I, I'll, 
will definitely suggest poly because the uh, cost of manufacturing and of costly the uh, area required for the uh, installation is I can I can't say is less but then mono it is less poly is still good uh, after the comparison uh, for India poly is the good technology that I can say. The advancement in the technology is the one of them is PRC technology that is nothing but the next layer to the uh, module cell I can say uh, which will increase the efficiency of the module by maybe 1 or 1.2 uh, percent. The cell efficiency is increased by 2 percent. Then uh, this is the market share of the technology we can see the uh, polycrystalline uh, modules are getting famous nowadays. This is the efficiency graph. As I said, that Mono has the maximum efficiency. Uh, there are several uh, other panels available in the market. One of them is uh, bifacial panels, uh, which can produce energy from both the sides. Uh, there's a different te technology, of course. Then there are BIPV modules. Uh, those are building integrated photovoltaics. Uh, you can use them as your facades or uh, windows with uh, your buildings. Uh, there are flexible panels available in the market. There are transparent panels also, but of course with the different cost and uh, different efficiencies they come. So other raw material if we consider uh, is EVA sheets, back sheets, glass, ribbon. The quality of these material material also matters in the manufacturing of modules. So we should always have a look of look at uh, these products too. Then, uh, like I said, that uh, the manufacturing process also uh, uh, is important for the efficiency of the panel. Like there should not be any manual handling while uh, we are stringing the panel. Then uh, no manual errors should be there, then the environment in which we are manufacturing the metal should be dust free, there should not be any crack in this uh, panel while laminating even. Then uh, there should be a line which we can upgrade to the scale so that if the technology in the market changes like uh, now we can see the four bus bar has been, now we are come up with five bus bar systems. Then quality testing, I'll, I'll just have a presentation on quality, uh, which are the tests, those are necessary for the quality. Uh, Make a just last minute, please. I'll just go through the slide. Uh, there are several testings, like this is the cell tester, which while manufacturing the panel, we'll have to first uh, test the material that we are using. So uh, each and every raw material is tested into the uh, labs and so like Sir said that EVAs and back sheets that we are using, those should be tested and uh, it should be uh, qualified to the, uh, our, I can see, so I'll just go through the, so these are several tests that we do uh, in our facility. So that will give, okay. So these are the uh, few lab tests that we are providing in our uh, uh, facility also. So that we'll get the uh, good efficiency from our panels and that should those should be uh, tested in our factory. So we have few facilities uh, in our factory. With this, I'll, I would like to end up my uh, presentation if Anyone have any questions? Uh, that I'm open for that. Thank you. Thanks, Mega. Uh, so, what I can just request the panelists is, if at all you can emphasize on what your company also does, because ultimately this particular presentation is meant to to highlight and give a forum for demonstrating your company's uh, abilities. That will be of great help. And at the same time, if there is any questions from the audience related to that company or whatever slides are being put, just raise the hand up and we'll make it more interactive because it is looking like a one-sided uh, presentation. So this is the last hour and we'll make it more interactive and keep awake. <laughs>